Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Tamron's 24-70 f2.8 VC G2. This high-speed zoom is designed to maximize the potential of the latest high-pixel cameras while delivering best-in-class image quality with the use of new specialized high-quality glass that offer great optical transmittance. I personally think Tamron has done a fantastic job with the new G2 lineup, and if you'd like to learn more about this lens or other lenses, head on over to bit.ly slash tron2470 G2. First up, GoPro, whose stock was once really, really high and whose stock is now really, really low, has announced it will be moving manufacturing of cameras bound for the US out of China. The move comes amidst a trade war that has threatened to put high tariffs on goods imported from China to the United States. If you live outside of the US, you have nothing to fear but fear itself, as GoPro will still be made in China. Even in the future, nothing works. The real question here should be whether or not GoPro can actually survive by continuing to make minor updates to their hero brand, or will they go the way of the flip cap? We all know everyone loves to complain about Canon cameras. First, it was the 5D Mark IV, which was lacking, well, it was lacking a lot, but was still a solid camera, and honestly still is. Next, it was the 6D Mark II, which everyone panned as the worst camera ever, except for me, because I actually liked it, until a huge marketing push started paying YouTubers to make reviews. Side note, I was offered the money and turned it down because we don't take money for reviews. Now I'll take money for other stuff, just not reviews, unless the price is right. Price is wrong. That was a joke, by the way. We don't take money for reviews. Yeah. Shh. Most recently, people have been complaining about the Canon EOS R and its lacking features, though most people complaining have never actually used it. But I digress. One feature other than the missing second card slot that left me scratching my head was the lack of in-body stabilization. Canon said their IS is so good in their lenses that they don't need it in the body. Well, Canon Rumors is reporting that they've been told by a pretty good source that the next EOS R series camera to be released will have five axis in body stabilization. Honestly, if Canon doesn't jump on this train and many other trains soon, they might find themselves standing on the platform because they missed the train. Have you ever gotten up in the morning and thought to yourself, wouldn't it be amazing to climb a wonder of the world just to do a nude photo shoot at the top of it? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Well, if your name is Andreas, Okay, it says HVID and he's Danish, so we'll just call him Hivid. The answer would be yes. Back on December 8th, Hivid posted a video showing him and a woman, which we will call Pixel Face from now on, climbing the Great Pyramid of Giza. Their goal, reach the top, get naked, and do a photo shoot. All right. Hivid said, for many years, I have dreamed of climbing the Great Pyramid. That's my Danish, by the way, Steven. The idea of making a nude shoot up there had also existed for some time. What's this fascination with getting naked in public places? Scale the pyramid, smoke your joint, make your video, but leave your clothes on. I, you know, just take my shirt oh. off at work and just walk oh. around because Nancy in HR says it's okay. You hear that, Stephen? Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities issued a statement saying that Hivid's shoot violates public morality and is asking for an investigation to be launched. Some people think the photos may even be photoshopped, but based on the video and the photos that were posted, I find that pretty hard to believe. Hivid has removed all but one image, which looks like this. After thoroughly analyzing the image, I can assure you, Pixel Face is getting pixeled. Steven, we don't need to bleep pixel, right? Because I didn't actually say If convicted of performing indecent acts in public, Ivid faces a fine up to a year in prison and probably should be left outside naked for the public to oogle at. We reached out to Pixel Face for comment, but all she had to say was... And finally, last week we reported that Sony had released new firmware for the a7 III and the a7R III. Right away, people started complaining in the comments that we were late to report that story. I'd like to take this time to comment directly to the people who were commenting that we were late with their comments with the following comment first. Recently, Sony has removed their new firmware from their update site and they said this, IMPORTANT! 
they yell, they yell, it's capital, Stephen, so that's why I have to yell it. Important! We apologize for the inconvenience, but the release of this software update has been delayed. We are working on the issue and will release the update as soon as possible. Now, as soon as they make that possible, we're gonna wait two months before we report on it. What I find funny is they say delayed, when in fact the firmware has been available for months. Even though we took two months to report it, it was still there. Though, if a bear shits in the woods, does it actually shit? So why would Sony pull the update from the site? Well, there's two reasons. First, in rare cases, your A7R3 and A7 III models may stop functioning while writing raw data onto an SD card that has already been used multiple times. Yeah, losing raw files, it's not a good thing. What good are two card slots if they fail to write raw files properly? Here's a quick side note. If you're looking for new SD cards, head on over to shop.progradedigital.com and get 20% off when you use the code Fro 20. And second, with an A7R3, taking a picture while using the auto review function may occasionally cause the camera to stop responding. Sony says they will provide a new update in mid-December, which means we'll be following up in February. Sony's asking users of these two cameras to back up all their data currently on their memory cards or use an entirely new card. Now, does that mean use a new card every time you shoot? Well, if they do, you better use Fro 20 on that website to get some new cards. They also say make sure auto review function is turned off when taking pictures. Hey Sony, that's really, really bad. Bad, bad, bad! And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.